Welcome back to the channel. As you guys know, this channel is not just for breaking news and all the political updates on a daily basis. We also bring you guys battle of ideas and sometimes we look back at history and see if we could learn something. This one is more recent history. This is about how just over 10 years ago, it's now been 10 years since Donald Trump was initially proven right. Well, not at the time, unfortunately. It took them, it took the establishment until now, but even now, half of the establishment are not admitting that they were wrong about China. This is a video that we have uh, from the days of 2012, uh, before Trump even announced that he was going to run uh, for the next election in 2016. Uh, this is about his uh, speech, his very, very um, robust and passionate speech, again, a warning to America and the West when it comes to China. Nobody listened. Watch this. You know, the other thing about Libya that really bothers me, because we get back again, it always gets back to China, because while we're spending billions of dollars being policemen of the world, China is spending billions of dollars a day buying the world and calling us stupid. And we have the president of China come a few months ago to Washington, and we give him a state dinner. Now, when people are screwing you, you don't give them state dinners. I said, no, no, we're not giving dinners. What we do is we sit down in my office for a couple of hours. We either make a deal where you stop manipulating your currency or not. If we make a deal, you can have a state dinner if you want. If you don't make a deal, you take McDonald's and you go home. That's it. That's it. You're going to be paying 5 and $6 a gallon for gasoline pretty soon. And they want to they wanna go in and raise the price of oil because we have nobody in Washington that sits back and said, you're not going to raise that fucking price. You understand me? Now, this was 2012, and uh, we know that uh, when he became president, uh, Donald J. Trump uh, tried his best to stand up to China, and somehow, somehow nothing changed long term. Somehow, everything went back to the consensus that they already had when Joe Biden became president. And with Joe Biden, don't give him too much credit because it's not even him calling the shots. We already know that. And it's all about the whole of the establishment in America. And unfortunately, you know, sometimes people say, why, why are we talking about the other countries? America is America. Whether we like it or not, the new Western globalist model is being led by America. So technically, one could say we currently live under the American empire. But it's not really in the name of America. It's in the name of Western globalism. But it is. And I'm just going to leave you with that thought and see what you guys think in the comment section. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.